It's 1077 The Bone, Baby Huey and Chastity. Here, Chastity, we're out here backstage. What an epic day for this year's Vans War Tour. We've been talking to everyone nonstop. Haven't had time to eat or drink or I know. anything. It's been crazy. But Barely totally paid. worth it. Oh my God. We have a very special guest here. So excited. You were actually, I'm so, I'm excited and sad. So you were one of the bands I was most excited to see, and I missed your set oh. because I was stuck in traffic. But I will say this our intern Joe went live on Instagram, so I watched it from yeah. traffic. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Wait, what? I can get in trouble. Why? For because what? I had my phone out in traffic. Ah, I had my phone no, out. no, no, no. Oh, so cares? it's Valiant of Valiant Thor. Wait, we were pl we were playing. That. It was streaming live on Instagram. He did it. He on his oh, phone. Oh, you were, you were here. Yeah, yeah, he was here. He got here early. That's yeah. cool. So yeah. So he went yeah. live, so I could watch it in so traffic. So she was living vicariously through That's him. That's cool. So yeah. I kind of saw your set. I was really sad. To That's me. really cool. Well, I mean, the thing is, we weren't supposed to play. Super early today. Okay. Uh, Al Hoyas, by the way, um, Valley himself. Yep. I don't know, but I like the name of your uh, radio station. Thank the you. Bone. The yeah. Bone makes sense to me. <laughs> uh, but no, I we um we were supposed to play third on the Hard Rock stage, but um Bad Cop, Bad Cop. Uh, their label is from here and I think they're on Fat Records and supposedly oh, yeah. uh, all their cats were coming out today so they asked us if we would trade oh, and I said nice. sure you did so even though we didn't want to because that's a very sh can I say sh that's yeah. a very sure. Yeah. Spot to yeah. play <laughs> before noon. I mean, most of the ones don't even open till like yeah. you know twelve thirty or whatever. So that we thought, Fuck, well, we'll do it. But whatever, we'll do it. And then so I came over and they said, oh, we don't need you to. Some somebody else is going to do it. And we're like, cool. So I walked back and then they're like, oh, no. then they called us and they're like, no, we do need you to. And so <laughs> it was like a on off on off thing. And when we get there, they still postponed it for twenty minutes because something about the doors. So I don't think we ended up going on till noon, but. Either way, we ripped. Um, I'm generally uh, pretty curmudgeonly these days, and I was really <laughs> feeling like, like pissed, pissy, and not, you know, I was being like kind of a jerk in my head. I was thinking about all the mean things I was gonna say, <laughs> but it's really hard for me to be mean. Even you though don't I wanna, seem there's not an ounce of mean in you. I know, I can't but see I've been it. trying to be get real good at being. <laughs> I want to be real mean. I want to be the meaner guy. Yeah, I'm not really good it, at it. No, but so when I got up there, I was like, all right, this is what we do. We always we've played to to zero people like forever when we were started. So I was yeah. like, this is what you do. There's people out there. Usually, I let it slide if they're sitting down in an amphitheater, but that's when it's 110 degrees and they're dying of heat exhaustion. Yeah, exactly. This is f um, Hold that thought. Oops. <laughs> this is a, uh, you know, this is a, uh, they're dying of heat exhaustion and usually they're sitting down there. You're like, ah, that's okay. Like, but uh, I was thinking, man, it's f not even noon yeah. you all just got here it's overcast it's yeah. really nice so get up and get make us feel welcome yeah. and get up here and it works you know usually i have a pretty good way of getting people up around but i wasn't feeling it this morning because i wasn't awake yet but it ended <laughs> up working and you know the more you get from the people the more you give off so when they gave it back we gave it back and it just got more intense and um you know all the bands came out to watch which that's, that's, nice. that, that's like a thing we're like um it sucks that, <laughs> that we're not like a fans band but we're like a band's band yeah. yeah bands come watch us all the bands love us the the kids don't have any idea who we are but <laughs> everyone the, on this tour has said the same thing though kids don't know who we are but it's fine well, well i was gonna say that's the thing a pretty amazing lineup this year as far as there's been a lot of old school bands but a lot bands of newer coming bands back yeah and, yeah there's it's, a good mix this has been really one of the most diverse lineups yeah. that i've really enjoyed so, most of them are on our stage as well yeah i was gonna say for you so on this tour which bands have you enjoyed to get to go see live well so the, the bands that aren't on my stage that i've enjoyed are hate breed guar cky mm -hmm. nice. the bands that are on my stage are all the other bands that i watch there's a few more that are on the side stage like we're on the hard rock stage there's also a few on skull candy like war on women war on women's really good um that band microwave is pretty cool if you're like into indie stuff they're, yeah, they're pretty a great tiny bit of their they're pretty good yeah. um but then on our stage it's all classics it's all killer no filler like bad cop bad cop i did not know before the hand but they're really great um they're definitely like cali like um female punk rock you know they're awesome but then you got sick of it all yeah then you have municipal waste yes, yes. Then yeah. You have, i love municipal waste um 
the adolescence and you have strung out and you have um another one that I wasn't familiar with fire from the gods mm-hmm. but everybody's everybody's so good everybody's so killer and most of them are you know have this pedigree that you know it's real if you feel like an honor to be around them so um you know it's funny being the band who's like there's like you know, brand new bands out here that are like giant and so you feel weird because you've been like we're well, around around for 17 years uh here, hey, how, how's it going out there, everybody? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, crickets, if it's like a, in night, like all the way at the night or all the way early in the morning. Those are just the unfortunate days. But, you know, it's it's one of those things. You're out here. You're trying to catch new fans. Obviously, if you've been around for 10 or 15 years, you have your own fans. If you play club shows on the reg, you know you can pack a club. But yeah. what you're out here to do is gain new fans anyway. I mean, yeah. that's the whole deal. Yeah. So if you're doing that, then you're doing a good job. Otherwise, the only thing you can do is kick out the jams as hard as you can and even if people don't see you the other bands will talk about you and or ask you out and then that's what you hope happens like I love him. in the old I days know. I mean we had so many good opportunities we did the whole thing in 05 and the whole thing in 06 and if we didn't do that we never would have been on like we got stoned with the Guitar Hero guy and we ended right. up being on Guitar Hero 2 yep. and that was in like 16 million homes and then we met Joan Jett and she took us out in 06 and from then we met Alice Cooper and from her we met Motorhead and we did four tours with Motorhead and we never would have done any of that if we hadn't done the Warp Tour so you can cry about how things are on one day if things aren't going good or you can just go man I'm going to whoop it up as hard as I can whoop it every day and whatever happens is going to happen like most of the time good comes from it it's true Um, now I know you're from the center of Venus Inside, yeah, inside right. the planet. Um, is that a southern accent that they have in Venus? No, that <laughs> that comes from where we crash landed. Oh, when and we you crash landed, landed where? Um, near it's a small town called Greenville, North Carolina. Okay. It's where East Carolina University is. Yes, yes. And uh, <laughs> we started around there. I'm from um, southern Oklahoma, so you're making me very homesick. Right on. Right yeah. On. <laughs> yeah. You're like well, pretty much every boy I grew up with. Well, I tried very hard to cover up my accent when I was, uh, you know, ha- like 20 years ago. But it didn't. Um, it doesn't work too well. Well, for it me. did work. It worked pretty good though because I say finger now instead of fanger. finger. Yeah. And like there are there are like yeah. colloquialisms that still pop out and everything. But you know, at a certain point, you know, when you're younger, you just like if you if you care about learning and you want to not be associated with. I don't feel like a really like racist place I thought and I wanted I didn't want anybody to think I was like that so I wanted to change my accent I didn't want them to know where I was from yeah so but then you get a thing when you go like people don't associate that like you you know my southern accent probably was as exotic to some of those people as like a British girl's accent was to me at at 18 years old when I moved to California it like got me a job in radio yeah you know because people thought it was charming and different and they didn't hear it so I'm with you right but I tried to lose it I used to drive down the freeway when I first got into radio and I would read the billboards with like the most perfect non-accent accent I could find. Yes. But when I drink, oh boy. Yeah, it comes oh out. boy. <laughs> right. If I'm yeah. around anyone else who's southern yeah, as well. Yeah, after we talk, I'm going to have a southern accent for the rest of the afternoon. I yeah. kind of hear your southern accent. I don't hear it enough at work. Yeah, because I don't drink at work. But I know. trust me. <laughs> we should start usually. doing that. Yeah. Usually, yeah. <laughs> but so what's next for the uh, the band after Warp Tour gets done? What's well, next for you guys? Well, we don't have anything locked in yet. Okay. Um, and that's by design because I am getting married at the end of the tour. <gasps> Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Do you go back to Venus for that? No, no. I don't we I don't think we're going to make it back to Venus. No, never. Well, I don't know. I mean, as coordinate like this time stream that we're locked in seems to be in what Mark Mothersbaugh mm-hmm. uh, has coined de evolution, you yes. know, you know Devo. Yeah. So, yeah, we're pretty much in a Devo. You can look at our government and tell that these people are getting dumber and dumber <laughs> you know, well, that's by, the day, yeah. by the yeah. day, yeah. Yeah. Yep. by the day. By the day yep. and so if it's never you know if that's going to be the trend and we just get actors and and other idiots to be in our government then we're never going to get any smarter than we we've already peaked and we're already going downhill yep. but um you know that doesn't have to be the truth but what i'm what i'm saying is we don't have the technology to fix any kind of spaceships and go anywhere else we're stuck. so we're stuck so yeah. that's okay because it's not really about where you're from it's about where you are and what you decide to do with the time that you have Amen. so we're here now and we're trying to make the best of it 
and and you're getting married. Yeah, I'm that's getting. I talked right. to Earth Woman into <laughs> falling for me. So Aww, something that's happened. Cute. Something I was just happened. gonna compliment you on your socks or yeah, uh, two different socks. But you got Captain America. Captain America's on one. That's that is not by design. That that um. Uh, he would be my so. I was gonna say, uh, is that your favorite? No, superhero? hell no. Okay, but I do oh. like the Captain America movies. Yes, no, okay. they think those are great. But Captain America to me is like the Andy Griffith, uh, <laughs> or the I Love Lucy of like superheroes. It's a little well, he's same the boy, with Superman. He's, he's the Boy Scout. Yeah, and I'm an Eagle Scout. But when it comes down to it, I think there's something about this '50s. Like, I don't have a lot of. I never had school spirit. I don't have. American pride. I'm not that kind of, you know, like, obviously I don't like Nazis. And if you beat the f out of Nazis, then I'm okay with that. But I, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think it's wise to teach your kids that America's the greatest place. I think that's silly. I think you should say, Hey, we live in a cool place, but there's all, this is what's cool. I'm, the world is cool. I'm more of a humanitarian. I think that we should cheer on the earth and cheer on how we can stay alive on this planet. Yeah. Seeing as how, this other planet I can't, I'm from, I can't get back to. Yeah. I think it's very important to take care of this planet. So I think it's foolish to say, we're the best, we're the best, we're the best. All, all the people who say we're the best, we're the best are are morons. And they're distracting you from what really is, you know, it, it, your state, your, your town, all that shit, when people are cheering that, that's like football teams. Like, like. <laughs> politics are not a sport the world is not a sport you don't have to choose sides like we're all in this together and you can learn so much even the smartest professor can learn from the students you know so i don't cheer captain america because he is the, a symbol of our nation i just like that he beats the fuck out of people with shields <laughs> yeah. i would much rather superhero uh right, right now i'm really stuck on like uh, superhero shows i think i figured out that i have a little bit of anxiety because and this might have something to do with my old man passing away a few years ago, but I watch these shows that they have now, and I find myself just squalling, like crying. Aww. I'm like, you know, and I really like the Flash show, yeah. so I think the Flash is like, oh, and good we're besties now. also yep. Supergirl is great yeah. too. I mean, I loved Arrow when it came out, and I still like it. I think it's like a it's getting better. It's, it is. I think it's like I think it's like they maybe didn't have the license for Batman at the beginning, and they've made, it's like a really it's a poor man's Batman. It's a poor man's Batman, but they're getting everything right. They've brought everybody into that universe except Aquaman, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman, Green Lantern, and uh, and Batman. But you've seen you've seen Superman, obviously. But they've they've Re mentioned stuff. They reference on the phone. They reference Green Lantern and they've referenced Batman or things around that. Yeah, they, no, they, they did in uh, the alternate universe that uh, it's, oh um, on Supergirl because in she uh, Earth thirteen. Uh, they're, yeah, they're, that they mention like Batman in there. Yeah, they, me they mention stuff about it. So I really hope they bring Green Lantern into it because he's one of my favorites from when I was a kid. Okay. Um, I really like the Hulk. I don't know why I've always liked the Hulk. I had I think back to like the very first comic book I ever bought uh, was in a Seven Eleven. They don't have Seven Elevens in in uh, North Carolina anymore. They have lots. In, I live in Richmond, Virginia. They have tons of them, but North Carolina doesn't have. Them. I think they're starting to come back. But when I was younger, there was a Seven Eleven. They didn't have comic book shops. It's, Free comic book boom in the 90s but like in the 80s you had to get what you could get off of a off of a comic rack yeah and they would only come when you come back around it's like three issues later so you never yes. could get all of them in a <laughs> row back then but um yeah i loved uh i loved i bought the first issue i ever bought of a comic was um west coast avengers number four nice and i got it framed hanging in my house now it's That's really awesome. you're talking cool. to the right dude. This is like the comic book superhero. Well, I, mean, I got my you know Trinity King. shirt oh, nice. on right Very now. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. You know, He's got representing all three of them on there. But yeah. uh, no, we could talk superhero movies a lot longer. Oh but I know you got a busy schedule. Um, so oh well, Chasta, we got. Yeah. I think so you're gonna have yeah. the greatest answer I can already tell. So we're at we ask this question of every rock star we interview. Always have. This is definitely our question of the day too. So are you familiar with the movie Almost Famous? Yes. Okay. So in the last frame of that film, the reporter asked the question, what do you love about music? So what do you love about music? Um, I love that music is like a language that you don't have to know the actual words to. And I don't mean not knowing the words to a song. I mean that no matter where you're from on earth, you can play a song, whatever song it is, and you can get joy from it. 
so it's like a universal language for the earth uh and it doesn't have to be in i mean it can be in swahili and i can be into it you know feel it, yeah. yeah and so so you know if there was a it, you know if sound you know if like sound with beats is uh is a language then it, it's something that can make people smile no matter if there's no other way that they can figure out how to communicate with each other so i like that it can bring people together who are from vastly different places um and you know that that to me makes the even though you know how there's so many examples of how the world is so big but then there's so many examples of how the world is small that's one way to make it so much smaller and get like head to head with somebody who's like completely on another planet from you you know yeah and that's why we chose music as the catalyst to you know get our message across i truly feel like we're kindred spirits <laughs> you're nice. speaking my language Absolutely. that's awesome well I love listen it. thank you so much for making yeah. time yeah. thank you very, very we really much. appreciate yes, it good Absolutely. luck with the rest of the world yeah. tour and we hope you come back to the bay area very soon oh we will we will i got like we like i said there's there's things out there there's uh hate breed maybe anti-flag maybe cky probably and <laughs> sick of it all very probably because awesome. they've been they're already asking about dates for like a boat thing in in long island and Ooh. all kinds of things so we'll, we'll have it we're probably gonna work on some new music and we'll figure it all out we'll be there for it and hopefully yeah next time you come through we'll sit down just geek out all superhero stuff <laughs> totally down okay. totally superhero down. show <laughs> thank you thank you guys <laughs>